so the Royal Show is going ahead this morning. We are down here right now. Um, I'm joined by um, Carol. Now, Carol is the secretary down here. Um, Carol, a, a completely different picture to yesterday morning. Very, very, very different. Um, yesterday you couldn't have written it. The rain was coming down, the wind. Uh, we had gazebos, bits and pieces. The, our own ring had fallen over. Had a tremendous band of helpers. And uh, no, we just decided that was it. We were going for today. Whatever happened, uh, the show was going on. And uh, we're made of strong stuff. And that's what we want to do. And certainly it is, and I do think today is a day where we have to wear wellies. I can't actually see anybody at the moment on the show field that is not wearing wellies or walking boots. Um, but we're going to crack on and we're going to make sure the show goes ahead. Definitely. It's a full, uh, the full programme is planned. There may be um, some changes to class times, but as far as we're concerned, the show goes on as normal. And obviously yesterday must have been a huge disappointment for not only yourselves for organising the event and putting all that time and effort over like the course of the last year, but to some of your um, stall holders here as well. Absolutely devastating and it, it really was a difficult decision, but we had to do it on the health on the grounds of health and safety and that was paramount. Um, we didn't want to turn the show fields up, we just decided let's just have one day and it, it really, really was difficult. It, um, it was heartbreaking to be honest. Everybody's put so much time, effort into this, but here we are today. Yep. I mean, I was here yesterday morning at 7.45, sitting in the traffic when you made the announcement, and when I was told, no, you can't go on the field, but I did come down later on yesterday afternoon, and it was amazing, actually, to what difference it was from the morning to even the afternoon yesterday. Yeah. As I say, um, people just pitched up, the young farmers and um, stallholders that were here, the rugby club, um, Ian Davis and his lads all turned in. Just so many people turned up and really turned it around for us. I mean, we're so grateful. Yep, and obviously with today um, going ahead, is there anything from yesterday which you've had to kind of squeeze into today's schedule? Yes, um, the uh, young handlers, we've fitted those in and the light horse program will run over one day. That's normally two days, but we've fitted everything in as far as we can. And just to confirm to anyone that maybe had tickets for yesterday's show, they can get in today, Definitely. can't they? Friday's yeah. tickets are valid for today. It's just really between what, as many people as they can, we can to come and just produce your tickets and we'll let you in. And as people can see right now, it is not raining. No, nope, it's not <laughs> raining. Not yet. It's rain. <laughs> so fingers crossed we can hold off on the rain for at least a couple of hours. A couple of hours to see us good. Yeah. yeah. But you've come prepared in your waterproof trousers. Yeah. <laughs> Not really the um, attire for a, a Royal Manx show, but we've got to be practical about it. Yeah, mm. Okay, thanks for joining us today. And of course, I will be here live from 10.30 on the Radio Cafe with Lifestyle Furniture.